doing Officer Holic. So today we're gonna try something a little different. We're gonna try and catch fish, hopefully big fish, big striped bass and big blue fish on Twizzlers. All right, so we got two different types of Twizzlers. Well, actually not two different, it's all the same Twizzler, but I made it into uh, different lengths. This is the large one, or this must be like, I don't know, 16 to 20 inches. I have two of those, and then I have four of the shorter ones, which are maybe, you know, only like 10 inches long. So uh, I have a feeling these will definitely catch fish. These I'm a little skeptical about. You know, the hooks are kind of free swinging and it kind of just looks a little sloppy, but we're going to make it happen, you know. And then I also have a little twisty tube here, so if I can't get anything on the Twizzlers, then I'll have to go to that. But hopefully I'll be able to use all these baits here and then switch to the twisty tube because I caught so many fish on these. So that's what I want to happen. All right, we made it out on the water. First thing to do is to clip off this tube and we're gonna put on the Twizzler tube and start trolling around. We're about halfway through the flood tide. Perfect evening out here, flat calm. Got about an hour until the sun sets. That's when these big stripers like to start cruising in shallow, looking for something to eat. And that's where they're gonna see my Twizzler and they're gonna smash the heck out of it. Or that's how I'm seeing it in my head, but you know, it could go an entirely different way. Obviously, it's fishing. My leader's getting a little short. Uh, I only have about a five foot leader. Usually I like to have at least seven feet of uh, 60 pound fluorocarbon. Then I got my Thunder Mist T-Turn Swivel. I'm gonna clip on four ounces of weight to get my tube down into the strike zone. We should be good to go. Let's, uh, let's see the action on this bait. Let's see the action. Oh my gosh, the action is ridiculous. The action is amazing. There's not a chance that if I don't pull this by a fish, a hungry fish, that they wouldn't hit it. Oh yeah. Marking and fish like crazy here. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Can't really tell if it's bait or if it's fish, but there's a lot of stuff here. This water looks so juicy right now. Sun setting down, incoming tide. Like this just has big striped bass written all over it. There's a lot of boats stacked up up front, but uh, it's too many boats for me to comfortably kayak around. So that's not really worth it to try and get a couple fish if uh, you know you get hit by a boat. All right, this Twizzler's dead. Not getting any bites on it. I think it's time for the big Twizzler. I'm breaking it out. I'm doing it. Here we go. This one right here is going to get me a bite. This thing has some awesome action. This one has a little eel-like head on it. The same head that I used to make these tubes here. Really good action. Let's drop her down. See if we can get a bite. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, just had a hit. Just had a hit. Come on, come on back, come on. There he is. Oh yeah, big fish. Big fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Whoo! Found one. Found one on the Twizzler. Whoo! Really big fish. I'm hoping it's not a giant bluefish, though. No, nah, there's no way it's a bluefish. This fish is screaming out drag. This fish pulled line off so fast I was holding the line a little bit. Trying to feel if like I had some weed on the tube. He almost cut my finger pulling out line so fast. Come on, stay on there. Work too hard for this bite. Not to get this fish in the kayak. This fish is on top already. He pulled out a ton of line though, it's crazy. Stay on there, buddy. Now I'm marking a lot of big fish too. Right where I hooked this one. I can see the leader. fish on the Twizzler. Look at that right there. Woohoo! Monster on the Twizzler. She got hooked like three times being threaded by this hook so there was no chance this fish was getting off. Whoo! And just to show you that it's a Twizzler, oh, that, that was a bad idea but it was a, it's a Twizzler trust me. Woo! Nice tank of a striper right there. Oh, easy baby, easy. I'm just gonna hold her in the water for a second. I got my new little carrier thing here. I'm actually gonna try and weigh this fish and get an accurate weight on her. See how big she is. I bought a wood log carrier. Hopefully this will get the job done. I can't use a boga grip or any other kind of regular, you know, scale just by hooking it in the fish's mouth because you can't sit up tall enough in the kayak. Okay, I got 30 pounds right on the dot. Whew, so a nice 30 pounder right there. Whew, yeah, yeah boy, let's get her back. All 
All right, let's put on another Twizzler tube. I'm just gonna go straight for the big daddy here. This is what's left of uh, the first big one that I used, just the wire, the little eel-like lead head, the hook, and you know, the barrel swivel. And I basically just threaded the wire through the Twizzler, you know, to make the tube. And uh, this one is just like this one, except it doesn't have the little lead head on it. Mission accomplished. I caught a freaking big fish on a Twizzler. Woo! Really good action. If there's some more fish around, I'm gonna get a bite. Guaranteed bite. I'm gonna go right over the same number as where I had that first fish bite. And it's pretty much the same exact area where I've been catching all my fish like all summer long, which is kind of cool. Oh, just got hit already. I was barely letting it out though, so that's, that's not really a good thing. I don't want a bluefish, I want a striper. Fish on, big fish. As soon as I hit the same numbers, a fish crushed this Twizzler tube. This feels a little different though. Bet you it's a bluefish. Or a small bass. Nothing big here. Definitely not a 30 pounder. Yeah, it's a blue. Pretty big one too, it feels like it. Or it might be a small striper, like, you know, a 30 incher. Whoa, 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 whoa. Crazy blue fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there. Easy, easy. Whew. That one almost got me. Like, no joke. That thing came right there. All he had to do was open his mouth and he could have had a, uh, you know, a bite, of, bite of my thigh there. I caught him like right behind the boat. So that's why he was so uh, energetic. And he almost bit me. Let's get him back. All right, Fishaholics. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Didn't catch a lot of fish, but I caught two decent sized fish on Twizzlers and um, to be honest I had those Twizzlers rigged up probably in my fridge for like two weeks and finally I had a shot to take them out and actually get on fish I was waiting for like the perfect conditions but even with perfect conditions the bite was really really tough I mean maybe if I was trolling around like my other tubes that I you know I make by hand and I usually use maybe I would have had a lot more bites probably would have caught a lot more fish but uh, just to say that I caught a 30 pound striped bass on a Twizzler totally worth it so um, here's what I want you guys to do because I, I want to try and catch more and more fish on weird stuff like this so uh, post a comment what do you want what do you want to see me catch fish on next you know it could be I don't know some type of vegetable or uh, some type of uh, you know garbage like a water bottle or a beer can or something but uh, Twizzler works. 
And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to uh, like the video or subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live, and I'll see you guys in the next one.